Hi, I'm Levita Dahm, the author of Candy, published by Scholastic. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the, the book I've written. And it's about a girl called Mel Falcon, who's 12 years old, and she's a crime detective. I've always liked crime detective novels, and I thought it would be a lot of fun to write about a 12 year old girl who was a crime detective. And um, Nell lives in a city where all candy has been banned, it's been made illegal, all chocolate is banned. And three years ago they shut down the chocolate factory, the Farnsworth chocolate factory, and closed it down and no one is allowed to eat chocolates anywhere in the city. And so all the children have kind of ganged up together and they've started smuggling in sweets and candy into the city and running the candy train. And so Nell kind of keeps her nose clean, she doesn't really get involved in any of this stuff, until one day a notorious gangster called Eddie DeMent, who's 12 and a half, uh, walks into her office and he has a very simple request for Nell. He wants, to, he wants to hire her to find a missing teddy bear. And Nell thinks, well, you know, a missing teddy bear, that's an easy, easy job, so she takes the cats. But unfortunately, the search for this missing teddy bear leads Nell deeper into the the world of the candy trade and the candy gangs and eventually to the mystery of what what the chocolate factory is hiding up on here and what happened to its mysterious owner, Mr. Carnes. Now I really hope you check it out, but before I let you go, I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like writing a mystery novel and it's quite hard, you know, it's quite tricky. So I wanted to show you kind of my approach to it is you do have to, and you see, I'll use this as a demonstration, is I've got this ring and I've got these two metal things. And, um, you know, what you do is you kind of try and, and, and confuse you a little bit. So you see, I've got, I get like this 50p here, and I want to kind of move your attention from, say, chapter one to chapter two. And as you can see, uh, the 50p have uh, materialized here. Now, sometimes it's about literally make, doing, making the impossible happen, like literally pushing a solid object through metal, you see. And ultimately what I want to do really is to take all these things, put the coins in here where you can hear them and then draw your attention to the ending and we still don't quite know what happened. So I'm kind of hoping candy is a bit like a magic trick that you want to follow along and see what happens and see how it happens. And I just had a great fun writing this book and I hope you have fun reading it. Um, so thank you very much.